Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Real quick, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I was just looking at analytics on our channel and a lot of our views come from non-subscribers, which is fine, but if you guys enjoy the videos, do us a favor and subscribe. It really helps us out. Today's Monday, June 24th. This is gonna be the first time that I've had any attempt to go scout or set trail cameras and that's why I have the Rambo bikes in the house. I just got them both charged up. Martin's gonna ride this one with a little saddle bag. I'm gonna ride that one with a weighted backpack. So the goal today is to go check trail cameras that were up through the winter, replace batteries, rebate it with some salt and get everything ready for this season. So I'm excited. It's the first time we're going up to deer camp. So this Rambo bike is set up with a single saddle bag. And in this bag, I have a couple things that I'm gonna need up there. Stealth camera SD card holder, master lock for the bike, couple pegs, waterproof bag just in case, and some stealth camera, cameras ready to go. And then we also have some extra AA batteries, and we're gonna take some food, some mountain ops, water, everything needed, and just have a good time. So yeah, let's go. Well, while we wait on Martin, we will load the bikes up. Probably time for me to get one of those tailgate covers for bikes. to stop not where we have to but if you look down the trail you got at least what two feet of packed snow right there and that next turns even worse so we're not even gonna bother trying to push the the bikes through that we're gonna stop right here but even with a couple stops readjusting messing with the GoPro on the way up tightening my seat we made it up here in 38 minutes 2.7 miles average speed of 4.4 miles per hour that's way faster than hiking with a heavy backpack and like all the gear that Martin has and cameras in the bike. Talk about a lifesaver. There's still a good push just to get around there and then to where I want to go to my tree stand. But that's a heck of a save right there. <laughs> Burnout. You're right in it. Just like right on top of that one. On top of it? Yeah, and I'm just going to like hook the wheels together. I don't think they'll be bothered up here, but better safe than sorry. That's goal number two, is to uh, try to figure out some of his home range, home range, which I think is on this side of the camera too. So, we'll figure it out. If he's alive, I'll find him. That's as far as we can go on the trail. Time to bushwhack it a little bit. This is, uh, this is the way we go to our deer camp in my tree stand. I haven't been up here since last, I think I tore down camp in October, maybe September, can't remember. But by the time I came up, it might have been November, by the time I came up, the high country had got some snow and all the deer had moved off my tree stand. So the year before, they were on my tree stand all through November in the rut, including the big bucks that summered there. It's crazy how that could happen year to year, but uh, we'll see what happens this year. There's not any snow on this side, but I bet there's some on the side with my stand. I can't remember if I left it running or not, to be honest with you guys. Still a little We got deer tracks. There's deer tracks in the mud right on the trail. <laughs> Please tell me you're filming that. Filming, but I was at the deer track. Really? Yeah. 
look like as soon as you hit the top, <laughs> it just moves. This backpack is heavier than it looks. Yeah, look, what is this? Moose? Yeah. Hopefully my big bull moose shows back up. I finally got to put my hands on his shed, so hopefully he's on this camera. This is where he was. It'll be interesting to see how long that lasted. I was just saying I'm almost positive I left it. Um, left it on through the winter. Spider's home. Yep. The spider's always home. Let's see what it says. Well, still on. It is still on. Crazy. Guys, I, I've said this plenty of times before. Yeah, it's still got battery. In the videos, but these stealth cams, they just last forever. That's why I like them. You can get 30% off stealth cam with the hush code at the stealth cam website. If you need cameras, I highly recommend them. Got myself a new SD card reader. This is actually the Apple brand. I ran down to the Apple store because the last SD card reader from Stealth Cam I had, I guess they updated it and didn't work with this phone and the current app that I was using. So this one's simple enough. So we've got pictures starting November 2nd. We got the rut. They did come up here. Dang things. Oh, there's me. <laughs> me, November 2nd. All right, let's see what we got. We had something come by November 3rd. There's a good buck. There's a cool buck. Back forks and a split G2. That was split G3. Big backs on him. That's cool. Dang, there he is again. Holy back forks. Do not recognize that deer from this side of the mountain anyways. I might have to study him a little bit. Dang, dude. What is that one? Is that a different one? Yeah, it looks like a straight four. Yeah, with smaller, Boxy. smaller backs. They're all coming on that trail and it's just barely missing them. I'm gonna have to fix that. There's me and Chag Life. So today at 1040, a doe. And again, they're using that upper trail. Look at that tiny fawn. Yeah, just a teeny thing. Ooh. We've got elk on the cam. It's funny, these elk are here always super early. As soon as they strip their velvet or even the week before, like they're gone. I've never seen an elk up here during the hunts. Dude, Martin, you recognize that beast? <laughs> Martin's the the mule, the elk slayer on the Wasatch. He, he looks like he's gonna be decent. He's gonna be a good bull. Yeah. Wow. All right. That's heavy. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get some salt down re and put new batteries in this stuff, guys. But this is so much fun. We're gonna set this camera. We're gonna stop at a 4K that I've had on video mode, and then we're gonna stop at my tree stand and then pull out of here. But look at the trail just beat down already. That's so cool, man. People say it's like Christmas looking at your trail camera. I don't know if that one will last as long just being on uh, video mode, but let's see what it's got. Ah, uh, wouldn't say it's on. Nope. Still might have some new stuff. We'll have to check. I put this trail cam right here because I noticed they've been using the steep trail quite a bit going through the thick timber. We have photos, so just like the last one, I got this camera on November 3rd, and we have videos. Whoa. Dude. Is that him? Kind of narrow. Know, dude, I don't know. It's smaller, I think. But I don't think it's him. We'll have to really close and watch the video, but it does have that Y. You know how I told you it had like a Y at the top? Yep. But I just think he's smaller. These are all videos, so I'm going to have to import them probably. What the heck? <laughs> oh, man. November 19th, they're still up here. Whoa. <laughs> I have a skier. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that guy's just bombing down. That'll be a video, too. Whoa, a bunch of them. Now we can watch them that we got them imported. Oh, come back, dude. November 14th. Still had does up here. 
Should have been there, huh? <laughs> November 19th, two point. We'll check that out. Just shredding in the R, dude. Just down through the <laughs> hunting grounds. <laughs> Look at the video quality of that. This isn't even on the highest quality either. The audio is awesome too. Yeah, look, it's hanging out. That's cool. Well, I'm glad the camera got some uh, deer in November. That's good knowledge. That's the thing about hunting up here and having cameras out. It's just good, good information. You just learn every single year a little more and more of what's going on. Here we go with a potential big buck. I don't know, man. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna study this so many times. Is he limping at all? Is he walking funny or is he just on I the think snow? He's doing that big buck walk, you know? Martin. That first step looks like a limp, huh? See how much he catches that? Ooh. Dude, guys. He, he is kind of limping, huh? That could be the buck. I Look how narrow he is, though. He almost touches right there. I don't remember that. You've got the Y on the back fork right, but the G3 is a little longer on the left, and I think that's wrong. That's not him. That's not him. There's no sign of the big buck yet. One more camera to check. I do this every time I set up a camera, guys. Just go through your settings, make sure you have everything dialed in. We're doing this one on video. 15 second clip, audio is on. These things have great audio. I'm going to format the card because I just looked through it all, saved all the video clips I wanted. So I always format it so it's formatted and fresh. We just made it to my little uh, tree stand site. Place I've been hunting the last couple of years. Absolutely love it here even though it has never been like the best area. It's always held a good buck. But it's never held a lot of good bucks. But you can see where I've had salt in the past. They're already just digging holes for it. I had salt down here on this log and they're digging holes down there. So I have salt in the backpack and I have pegs. I actually made it to where you had to climb to get my trail camera because it got stolen once. You guys, this is two years of uh, salting this area to make them really get used to this zone. It's like something bedded, bedded right there. Right there, and it looks like I did leave one peg in there, which I think I can get up there with one. So I may not need those. Let's see what we got here. I just have a feeling this thing died. Yeah, it's dead. Well, we got something. Looks like it's got me. On uh, November 2nd. So there I am putting out more goods. Front forks. Like crab claw fronts. I don't remember seeing him at all. Took me a while to kind of like build my confidence when it comes to climbing and setting tree stands and I'm still no professional at it and I have a lot to learn. Once you get a good safety harness and you learn uh, the lineman's belt system to where you have that around the tree, you can have your hands free and then you start using things like the, the lifeline. Man, just it just really brings comfort and confidence when you're climbing up or down or sitting locked in. I mean, so there's a couple times I fall asleep up there. So yeah, if you guys are going to do the tree stand route, it took me a while to finally convince myself to get all the gear. Once I did, I was like, why didn't I start with this? It's so much easier. Alright guys, we're back in the cutoff sleeveless for the hike out of here. It is pretty chilly still in these pines, but it's an awesome day. I'm super glad we got that done. Those are set, and uh, I'm confident that I can leave the area and come back in another... I don't know, three weeks and just kind of check things out, three or four weeks. But Martin and I have a bomb out of here. Steep climb up, a little bit of a hike on the trail, and then the bike ride down. And I kind of want to, just for reference, I want to time it. So I'm going to start my Onyx map again and time it and track it. But uh, always fun checking cams, guys. 
hopefully you guys are getting out doing some summer scouting uh, if everything goes right i'll be doing this again somewhere for whitetail over the next month month and a half uh, for now we're going to focus on high country velvet bucks all right guys we're on the bikes luckily nobody messed with our business and everything was still right where we left it i just want to say thanks for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed it um martin and i really hit it hard during shed season together made a lot of cool videos so it's gonna be fun to be doing the summer scouting thing together and having an extra guy to help me film so hopefully you guys enjoy the videos if you do let us know in the comments and uh, like I said, hopefully you guys are getting out to do your summer scouting. <laughs> it's getting a little aggressive there. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you use the hush code if you're going to buy a stealth cam or any of our partner stuff. You know, we got all the discount codes are in the description box. And the discount codes work all year, 24-7. So uh, thanks to our partners. Thanks to you guys. See you guys on the next video. We're out of here. We aren't coming in hot. What do you want to say to the people? Uh, ready to go get our scout on this summer. It's only begun. Find some big bucks, big velvet bucks. We both have the same goal, velvet buck. Go big or go home. I just want a big mature buck.